she's, she's directed films including Truth, uh, Top of the Lake, Mary Magdalene, and uh, Oscar nominated for The Favorite, and she just won the Art Directors Guild Award the other night. Congratulations. <laughs> Fiona Crombie. Thanks. Thanks. Now, I, I, I think you filmed most of it at, at Hatfield House, yes? Yes, In, we did. But did you have like a run of the house where you could film wherever you wanted? Yes, we did. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we, we scheduled it so it was in the off season so we could take control of the house. And we, I mean, you know, provided we were communicating and I mean, we, every single thing had to be negotiated. All the removal of their furniture, all the, you know, art handling and all, we had to strip it out in order to come and put in our we did construction in almost every space. So we had to kind of start, we used the bones of the building and then we added in and made the story possible because it couldn't be told in the house as it was. But um, yeah, it was painstaking. Well, I mean, because those houses are, as they should be, uh, yeah. hi historically uh, protected. Yeah. But I think, I mean, there are lots of shots, the camera seems to be constantly moving, yeah. lots of shots with candles. And oh yeah. I mean, what, what, did that, was that a hesitation or was it like, nah, it was all taken care of? Do you know what, that Hatfield House is one of the few houses that actually allow open flame. And so, um, again, that was one of the reasons we were there because it was always a very important idea for Yorgos that it would only be filmed with natural light or candlelight. And so there's no artificial light in the film. And so basically, I became the gaffer, like I was suddenly, you know, responsible for the lighting and how we were doing, um, you know, even daylight, like what were the considerations that we had to take, you know, we used lots of mirrors in the spaces, we had shiny floors, we were just bouncing, bouncing what we had, lots of open fires, whenever we could throw light, we were throwing light and obviously, um, yeah, 80,000 candles later, we made that movie, so. <laughs> Wait, well, th yeah. This may be a heathen's question, but, but, but wouldn't it have been easier to just build some sets and... and well, you know what? We didn't have any money. Like, <laughs> we're, like we're a low-budget movie. I mean, we did build sets. We built sets within... I mean, what was actually a really... It was a great pleasure for me was we were really located there. So we, my department, were in, like, five weeks in advance. We built... You know, I was building rooms within rooms, like little, we were using almost like a studio, and we, I had construction on site in a barn, you know, like it was all, you know, you just drove around and it was all very contained. And um, I also, to be honest, I loved the challenge of amalgamating my brand new world that I was creating with this lovely, scarred, quite ancient building. And I mean, we went around bending and breaking our pieces to look like, you know, so that you get like a true sense of history when you look at it. It feels human, it feels grounded. I, I loved it, yeah. But, but now, um, Sandy Powell's costume, she, she said that she, she had like classic uh, silhouettes, but yeah. used a lot of modern fabrics, yeah. like, like denim. Did you like a, a play, play around with, uh, with accuracy and... Oh, absolutely. I mean, from the very beginning, it was in the script that this was inaccurate. I mean, I, I didn't know, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't an expert, so I didn't quite know, but I could just even tell with the phrasing, like the wording. You just thought, this is modern. And then when we started to really look at it, I mean, you know, I knew she didn't have 17 rabbits. I also knew she had a husband, and I don't know where, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's yeah. all of these things that are kind of... Yeah. Um, but I, as we went through it, we realised that wheelchairs didn't exist. You know, there are countless things in the film that obviously, I mean, duck races, you know, all of that stuff. I mean, it's deliberately anachronistic. It's meant to be... Like all of Yorgos' films, he, he creates a very particular universe. They're constructions. They're not... You know, he enters this lovely relationship with an audience where he invites you into something that he's created, and this is no different. This is an invented version, you know, an interpretation, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a, an amazing film on a lot of levels, but also it's physically, it's just a beautiful film. So you, you get a lot of credit for that. Thank you. But thank you, and congratulations on your work, and, and thank, thank you. you for coming. Pleasure. Yeah, thank and um, hang on, and then the, the next clip, I, I think, is um, from 
uh, Vice, because we have uh, Patricia Dehaney from uh, Hair and Makeup. So um, let roll the clip, thanks. <laughs> 